He's very jumps around on the mound out there. He's very you get, he's emotional out there. So you got to be able to calm that and breathe when you're out there tonight. 90 degree day. It's cooled down to 77. There is absolutely no breeze right now. It is a perfect night for baseball. Standing room only crowd all over the place inside and outside. Folks, there are people looking in from all directions. It would approach 10,000 people in the area here at the ballpark tonight. Parking has been a disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, that's what it's all about right here. You want to want to play the best Aggies come in undefeated and it's a packed house inside and out ready to go here and Tanner Witt into the windup first pitch misses inside for ball one orange Cali orange California native he is off to a fantastic start as a true freshman. I mean, he's walked in, and Gavin has looked like one of the best players in the country as a freshman. Yeah, he's a, he's a big kid. You saw his size, 6'2", starting as a freshman, starting third base, and leading off for an undefeated Aggie team. Change up. Got him out in front, one and two. This Aggie team up and down the lineup. Extra base hits can hit for power hit for average off to one of the best starts in the program history. That pitch misses with a breaking ball. The count evens at two and two. That brick and ball off right in the box. Straight away in the outfield. Sky to center. Thomas has a beat on it. Right back to the track. And puts it away for the first out of the ball game. Laviolette comes to the plate. Sophomore from Katie. You don't see many 6'6, 230 pound center fielders. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's get, obviously can go get the ball in the outfield for that size. Play a shift on Lobby Lake. Pete and Powell going to play out right center. Upstairs for ball one. His team as a whole. Texas A&M as disciplined as any team at the plate in the country. Opposite field off at the end of the bat going to be a difficult play. Guys reach the stands. And the count evens at one and one. But their ability to swing at strikes is is really good. They don't go outside the zone very often. See a lot of pitch you see right there. Third in Division One and walks. Seeing just over four pitches in a bat. That's making pitchers work. For a pitcher, you want to get outs in three pitches or less. So 4.16, a little further than that. Laviolette taking his time getting back to the box. He sure did. Then he ran all the way to second base thinking that ball might fall in with the shift on. It's on again. The 1-1. One, one. Downstairs. Fourth appearance of the year, Zeke for quit. But the second time he has started a ball game for Texas. Tied him up inside. Good location there. Couldn't get extended it, on that one. That one. It's scary as a pitcher him. to go in there. I know when you got a guy that can hit the ball in the ballpark, but you want to keep those guys that are big and strong from extending. Yeah, you can't let them extend. If you do, it's going to go a long way. He was extended right there, but the ball was way in. 2 2. Speed misses downstairs, and the count goes full.
That hit him up underneath the elbow. Right on the left elbow of Lavillette. I think it was swelling up on. Oh, it is. You can see like a golf ball in his elbow right there. Swelled up in a hurry. Now as the 12 game reach base safely. Streak. Now Tanner, I mean, you don't want him to get extended. We just talked about it. And just gets inside and just Wait. doesn't get that elbow up yeah, in time. He, he, Way took it too. It turned it square into the pitcher. You watch that left elbow, folks, right there. Oof. Is it just underneath the hands. And that hurts. You want him to be okay, but you don't want to risk injury it more. It says left elbows and his non throwing arm. But you can see it right there. It's just a golf ball in his elbow. Oof. It's going to need some ice. So a runner at first base. And that'll bring. I'm surprised they didn't have a little meal print yeah. wrap or something to put on that thing. Keep the smelling down. Montgomery will step in. Throw over. Back in safely. See the numbers on the year for the junior from Madison, Mississippi. Great power. First pitch misses inside. Just see the numbers for the junior. Two ago also pitches a little bit for the Aggies. This ball hammered to right field with some carry. Get out of ten. Two run homer. Braden Montgomery. Sixth of the year. That's what they do right there. See the numbers of that hit didn't get too high in the off the ground. 113 miles an hour off the bat though. 382 feet for Braden Montgomery. Tried to challenge him after falling behind. And Montgomery didn't miss. Point put a good swing on that. That ball jumped out of here. Shot steps in. Senior. Newport, Newport Beach, California. Upstairs. Count evens. Just misses. Two and one. Wouldn't be surprised if they came right back with that. That was a good pitch. Tough to lay off. Challenging. Good location with that fastball. And it's two and two. Held on by Schusler. Boy, Montgomery, really nice job. Nice and compact. Talk a lot about launch angle. We don't talk many times about that, but you can see uh, at contact, that ball was going up. It was going up on a line. Twentieth pitch of the inning for Whit. Skied in the infield. Whit calls for it, puts it away. 
And that ends the inning, but not before damage done by Texas A&M. That's, that's very good. And it's, his, it's his out pitch, his strikeout pitch. So Texas, if he can command the fastball, he can be really successful getting ahead. Leading off an inning, that's what Jared Thomas has done all season as the leadoff hitter. He has 11 for 20. So off to a really good start. Thomas, sophomore from Walsahatchee, will step in. Cortez set out of the stretch. First pitch down and away. He's got great velocity. It can be 95. And he's reached right under, he's reached 99 miles an hour with the fastball. That first pitch was 96 to lead off the game. The 1-0. This is outside. Guys who are max velocity type guys sometimes are throw really. Sometimes it strike zones, it's hard to find. Yeah, I mean, it, they throw hard and, and the ball moves. He, it's a sinker at 95 miles an hour. This is 96 mile an hour sinker right there. His numbers, he's pitched nine and two thirds on the season and struck out 14 in his starts. The Aggies have scored 22 runs, so he's getting a lot of run support when he's on the mound. The 3 0. Outside the four pitch walk to Thomas. That'll bring Peyton Powell to the plate. Powell, Robinson, Texas native. Senior. Off to a fantastic start. Comes in with 11 game hitting streak. He's hitting all 11 of Texas ball games this season. First pitch misses outside. That is short, compact, too. It, it, it comes out and darts. The quick arm. I mean, so far, he hadn't been able to control it through five pitches. So, what do you do? You try the, the breaking ball. You have, you've got to try something I, I to get a strike. You've got to do something, and, and I think that's the right call. I might come right back with a breaking ball again. The 1 1. He does, and it's a strike. So Powell down one, two. Straight away in the outfield and deep. His Texas AM outfielders. Shot foul. Fastball's not, you're not throwing it for a strike. You, you can pitch backwards. Start throwing sliders to, to get ahead and then throw that sinker to put them away. That's a changeup right there from Cortez. That's a dynamite pitch right there. It comes out and drops down really good. About 12 miles an hour off the fastball. You can see the movement right there on the changeup. And as a hitter, Zeke, all, all I see is straight coming out of his hands, and I'm thinking yeah. I got to gear it up to get to 96. Same arm movement, same arm speed. Jalen Flores steps in. He's had a really good last two weeks for Texas, riding a nine game hitting streak, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, five of them on this season. Average up to 356. Stairs. And it's 2 and 0. Oh. Warm night here in Austin. Right side. 
back out of play. Going to change up again right there. Flores steps back in. A and M at double play depth in the infield. Good slider there, and the count evens it two and two. This one right for back up the middle. So a couple on here for Texas in the bottom of the first. Didn't get that one outside. That was the slider again, but on the plate. Jalen able to get to it, line it solid up the middle. Porter Brown has been hot as of late. He has struggled with runners in scoring position with the slow start. He's two for 16. He's been on fire in the last three or four ball games. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Got power to both directions. Good fastball there. Good location. Cortez, we are talking, getting ahead with the fastball so he can use his off speed. So far, 0 for 4 on first pitch strikes. The 1 1 to Brown. Skied in the infield. Put away. Infield fly rule was in effect for the second out of the inning. It's at twilight time right now. It's difficult to find the baseball. I don't think. Grohovac at third. I don't think he saw it. But Ali Camarillo coming over from the shortstop to make the catch. That brings Kimball Schusler to the plate. Schusler. Transfer from Texas A&M to Texas. He's a Lano Yellow Jacket native. First pitch slider in there for a strike. Off to a good start. On the season as he steps in hitting 429. The 0 1. Fastball. Great pitch. Outside corner and quickly you're down in the count 0 2 as a hitter. Both of those. First pitch slider, second pitch fastball. And he's going to get that slider right now. There it was for the strikeout. Second of the inning. Texas threatens, but come up for Grams. As we go to the top of the second inning. Bell will step in against Tanner Witt. Gave up the two run homer. Jackson steps in with an eight game hitting streak senior from Houston. Excuse me an eight game reach base streak. Out at the top of the zone count evens at one and one. This is upstairs. We talked about it in the first. Just real impressed with watching and looking at the stats for Texas A&M hitters about how many pitches they see. They just don't go out of the zone very often as a group of hitters. It's plate discipline. After 20 pitch first, four here in the second right now. The 2 2. On the ground. That's going to be a difficult play. Forrest has it across his body. Makes a great play on the ball, but just no chance to get the out and infield knock. Breaking ball from Tanner. See Peyton trying to get to it. Just can't. Just too far in the hole. Jalen makes a good effort at it. Gets the ball and gets it to first, but just too far to his right. To come back across full body. Outstanding play just in the hole. Hank Bard will step in from the left side. Down 
steers for ball one. Bard hitting 500 a homer. Seven ribbies. He's a senior from Colorado. In the DH role tonight. Inside. Hitters count now 2 and 0. Oh. Quit set checks the runner. This ball hit well to center with some carry going back as Thomas he'll have a beat on it. Puts it away for the first out of the inning. No breeze at the moment here at the dish. And two balls hit well. Right to the warning track out there in the center. Both. Jared Thomas able to catch in the ballpark. Chula Vista, California native. Ollie Camarillo will step in. Squares. Firm butt. Powell lets it go foul. It was a firm butt. Just up the line, kept rolling into foul territory. Earl does, you, you don't want to bunt it that hard, but if you can get it on that line, a lot of times, if it doesn't have that yeah. that right spin, it puts a lot of pressure on the third baseman. He's done an outstanding job at short all season for the junior. Camarillo ready to step back in. Texas at double play depth in the infield. On the ground, two is left. Nice play by Flores. Can they turn the double play? Outstanding defensive play, Jalen Flores. Once again, Jalen Flores this time diving. Two runs coming on Montgomery's two run homer. In the first, as Max Ballou will step in against Cortez, up and away for ball one. Sophomore from Alito. Longhorn right fielder. Outside. Count evens at one and one. Single by Flores in the first. Just the second hit a right hander has gotten off of Cortez this year. Two for 19. That's slider. Is a big reason why. Downstairs. And it's 3 0 to Blue. We see him throw at the lefties, but more for a strike pitch, not a, not a strikeout pitch underneath the bat inside. Downstairs and a four pitch walk to start the inning. To bring the freshman Casey Borba to the plate. Four pitch walk to Thomas, four pitch walk to Ballou to start the inning. Santa Ana, California native. We'll step in. Slider misses upstairs for ball one. Five in a row to start the second for Cortez. Outside the zone. Exactly what he started the first. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Borba obviously was just taking all the way. Don't think he'd be bunting there. See so, yeah, what happens now. The 1-1. One, one. Slider misses out. Might be the best pitch of the at bat to hear. You work to get these counts. So when he's behind, he likes to throw the slider on the plate for a strike. 
Chopped on the ground to third. Could be two. Second for one. The relay to first. Not in time. Bell with a good turn. It's not in time. There's a high chopper out of the box. For Hovek. Got it on the second hop. That was given more of a time to get down there. Good turn, but not quick enough. Jack O'Dowd will step in. Senior, Nashville, Tennessee native. Downstairs for ball one. Off to a really slow start. Has come on as of late for Texas. Thirtieth pitch misses outside. First it's two, two and starts, zero. First two starts for Cortez pitched in the seventies. Both both starts seventy something pitches. Chop foul. And it's two and one. Thirty one on the night. Only 15 of them for strikes. Downstairs. Hitters count now three and one. 75 in his first start, 71 in the second start for Cortez. The 3 1. Ripped down the right field line, but hooked foul. So the count goes full now. Ball almost hits him, but ball four. So for the second inning in a row, Texas puts a couple on. Freshman from Los Angeles, Will Gasparino will come to the plate. The DH tonight will step in. Outside for ball one. Aggies will play two midweek games. They have a game tomorrow night back in College Station. I believe they play Texas Southern tomorrow. And then I think it's uh, Rhode Island over the weekend. And then Rhode Island, yeah, they don't start their conference until the following weekend where they travel to Florida. Max Weiner out to talk. To Cortez, who was first time through the order, just one for nine in first pitch strikes. He's gotten away with it so far. But there is activity up and started in the AM bullpen. Oh. They have an action back. Some of the guys they could rely on a closer. I mean, sometimes you just want to get out of an inning. He's one of their weekend relievers. Yeah, it's not conference this coming up for them this weekend. Cortez set the 1-0. Break a ball in there for a strike. There's two for 20. Right-handers on the season against Cortez. One for three tonight. Got that breaking ball by. Gasparino has been off to a good start with runners in scoring position. He's hitting at a 538 clip. Seven for 13. Driven in 10 runs. The one two. Laid off that breaking ball.
The 2 2. Tied him up inside. You have, I mean, right now you're looking for the slider, but that's one he's throwing mainly for a strike. And then he throws 97 in there. <laughs> I don't know how Will Gasparino even fouled that one off. Got a piece of it. We'll go 2 2 again here. Breaking ball hit on the ground. This could be two. Second for one. The relay to first in time. 6 4 3 and a beauty turn to end the threat for Texas here in the second for ball one. 9 1 2 do for AM here in the third. Freshman steps in. Corpus Christi misses outside. Jack Bell. A couple of really good turns at second base in that inning. The second one led to a 6 4 3 double play. Ball stays up. Two and one. Swings through that one, and the count evens at two and two. Swings right underneath it. 34 pitches now this is a season high for Tanner. The 2 2. Just gets a piece of it. Keeps it alive. Next inning, we'll visit with head coach Jim Slosnagel. Texas A&M. Time with him earlier today. Breaking ball misses outside. And the count goes full. The payoff. Upstairs and a leadoff walk back to the top of the order. Greg, if you're working through coming back from Tommy John, as Tanner is, and you're pushing to a new level in pitches thrown this season, what is that something that to start watching a little bit? I don't know that. 37 pitches is outside of his. Yeah, I think prior to the season throwing inner squads, you probably they probably threw up 70 or 80 pitches. So I don't think that's a problem, but it, it is. It's a different adrenaline. It's under the lights. It's the Texas Aggies. It's, there's a lot going into this. So how much of that is going to take out of Tanner? And I mean, it's, it's emotional out there for him, especially to be injured, come back from injury, have another slight injury, and now he's back. Did he check his swing? He did not. It's quickly 0 2. Rodak will step back in. I believe the barrel did definitely cross the plate. Yes, it did. Throw to first. Bell back in safely. AM does not run a lot. Here, a power pack ball club, top to bottom. Ooh, that hitting. So, a couple on here. Runners at first and second. Fastball just rode in. There's O2 count. Fastball just going to come up in. You don't want to get hit. Especially in that territory up towards the head. Slavsnagel, not knowing what he had to say, but he came out and talked to the home plate umpire. Activity in the Texas bullpen. Luke Harrison. Out of left. Cole step Selden. In. Was hit by a pitch. Scored his first time up. Skies this ball out toward left. Porter Brown coming in. Puts it away for the first out of the inning. That was an angry swing right there. 
from Jace. Got hit the first time. See, now he's got a little covering over the elbow. There's see the Luke and Cole getting loose down there. They swung hard at that. Montgomery will step in. Two run homer his first time up. His sixth of the year. RBI is 22 and 23. Pitch in there for a strike. When you've driven in 23 runs, you're going to hit 523 or 529, excuse me, with runners in scoring position. 14th listed as one of the best draft team in America. This ball just absolutely crushed to right. I know that about it when that one left the bat right there. Thinking was was it high enough? One one. Shot foul at the plate. It's one and two to Montgomery. That home run in the first one was 382 feet for Montgomery. Steps back in. Break the ball, lays off of. Count evens at two and two. Quit set. Throw it by him upstairs for the strikeout. Second of the night for Whit. A little higher this time. Just above the letter. See that uppercut swing? Powerful swing right there. Just couldn't make contact, right? Two big outs with two on here for Tanner Whit. Shot will step in. He was a strikeout victim his first time up. Again. Swing through for strike one. You don't want, you don't want to live up there, but as long as they're swinging and missing them. Let's see if he tries to change the eye level here. Some off speed down. The 0 1. Sticking with the fastball. Really good location with that one. Went up with one and came in with one. So first and second, nobody out. Whit trying to get out of it here. The 0-2. Left side, back out of play. Fiftieth pitch of the ball game coming. For Tanner Whit. Those pitches. In a game for Tanner since February of 22. Off speed misses downstairs under an 0-2 changeup. And the he feels comfortable with it. He's thrown it for strikes. He's able to locate that one better. He's tried the breaking balls away. Really wanted that changeup on the plate. Fastball misses outside. Two balls and two strikes. Two out and two on here. Quit set. Break a ball. Chopped up the first baseline with it. Couldn't come get it. It's one of those, if you come get it, the runner may get by you. You're in a no man's land. I played a little first base. I'm telling you, that's one that's, you're thinking, oh, here he comes, here he comes. But you want to come get it, but it, sometimes you can go get it, and he's by you. Yeah, Tanner was right there with it, too. I, th I thought Tanner could have gone over real quick and got it. Either way, yeah, I, I can see what you're saying. You come get it, it's fair, and now the runner's by you. <laughs> Tanner wanted it right there. He's like, that's okay. I'll make a pitch right here. We'll get out of this. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming. Yeah. 
Chop foul again. Shot with a good at bat here. Struck out his first time up, but has battled here from 0 2 back to 2 2. Fought up a couple of pitches. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming. Long look this time. Pitch clock is working. Down under five now. Have to throw to second base. That's a sign now that everybody's using. You know, when that clock gets down, go ahead and make a move somewhere. You have to throw it. If you don't, the first time it's a warning, the second time it's a ball. Set again. 2 2. Foul back out of play. As a hitter, you get more and more and more comfortable with each pitch that you're setting in the box. You're seeing everything he's going to try to do to you. He's seen all Tanner's pitches so far. I think. Try to stick away right here. I think that change up away. Two two. This is up the middle. O'Dowd has it. Throws to first in time and Rip pitches out of the first and second. Nobody out jam here in the third. We take this opportunity to go down in the AM dugout and visit with their head coach, Jim Slosnagel. Skipper, one of the things I want to first look at you is, you know, this is a non-conference series. You're playing on Tuesday night. It's a part of your season, but next year it's not going to be the same way. Yeah. So a little bit different look next year. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty nuclear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in all sports. So it's going to be a great thing for college athletics and certainly college baseball across the country and in the state to have it uh, Mean, mean as much, you know, I mean, it means a lot to everybody, but obviously right now being in conference, uh, having it be a conference game would certainly make it a lot more meaningful than it is right now, at least to the coaching staff. Coach, you were able to go out and get Braden Montgomery out of the portal. I mean, pretty special player yeah. in your lineup yeah, this year. Yeah, he's a heck of a player, heck of a player. We, we just got to swing the bat around him and behind him. Otherwise, why the heck would you pitch to him? But but uh, yeah, he's a heck of a player. He's an even better guy, great student, awesome family, all that stuff. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck the rest you of the ball. You got it. You got it, guys. See it. It's always good to talk to Jim. See Braden Montgomery out in right field and a 2 0 AM lead. Two runs on two hits. Those two hits. One single by Appel, the hit batter, and then the home run by Montgomery. Top of the order due here for Texas in the bottom of the third as Cortez out for his third inning of work. 40 pitches for Cortez in the two innings. On the ground to short up with it sets his feet in time to get Thomas at first. Well when you've had big innings 40 pitch and two frames it's nice to get one pitch out. Yeah I mean it's, he had thrown five balls the first two innings to start the inning. Jared goes down and gets one might have been out of the zone. Wanted to hit it but hit it sharply at short. Peyton Powell will step in strikeout victim his first time up. Powell steps back in. Break a ball, drops in there for a strike. Guys who have great velocity and and movement. I, I, I just love being in the stretch. We talk about it all the time, but I just think it's great for young pitchers to, if you're going to learn, learn to get in that position where you can be mechanically very sound. Powell rifles this to right on a breaking ball. And he continues his hot hitting. He's hitting every game this year as Peyton Powell. Breaking ball down and in. Beautiful. Just stays back, transfers the weight right there. Flexibility. Not too much. Flexibility in the bottom of his body is something to watch. Flores single to center his first time up. Just the difference between a freshman and a sophomore. You see the numbers right there. Upstairs for ball one.
Jalen steps back in. Right side back out of play. Count evens up. Activity again in the AM bullpen. Aschenbach, Aschenbeck, excuse me, back up. Breaking ball in there for a high strike. And it's one and two. Downstairs. That's the one for Cortez that we talked about the fastball command. You have you have the hitters, Texas hitters now thinking slider, slider, slider. You can get it over for a strike. You can strike them out with it. If he can land that fastball, you can get some strikeouts looking. Skied behind the infield. Bell puts it away for the second out of the inning. There is a term, and I think Randy Johnson early in his career was this way, throws just enough strikes to be dangerous. And then he found out how to throw strikes on a regular basis, and he was unhittable. But it took him about 10 years, but then he pitched for 17 more years after that. First pitch in there for a strike on the 50th of the ball game. But I, I, I do think when, as a hitter, I would much rather you be in the zone than all over all around the zone. Upstairs. One and one. Porter steps back in. Backdoor breaking ball catches the corner and it's one and two to Porter Brown. Peyton stung him a little bit with that slider in to right, but kept the last few away from the lefties. Got him out in front with a changeup for the strikeout. Third, third of the game in the books. Two nothing. As Burton will lead it off, popped out to the pitcher. You don't see that very often. F1 on your scorecard. Well, I think any other pitcher, someone would have called him off, but Tanner played shortstop in high school. He's athletic. He's oh, you're saying that pitchers are not athletic? No, I'm saying oh, he's, uh, he's more athletic okay. than most pitchers. Okay. <laughs> that pitch in there for a strike. I know one pitcher is more athletic seen, than yeah. <laughs> You should have seen but his face. I, I would have done the same thing. I would have caught that. Well, all y'all guys do in BP is shag fly balls. Y'all can catch a fly ball. Exactly. Break a ball. Just wow. misses. I don't know where it missed, but it wow. just missed. Let's look and see where this one is. Have to be called low. And it's one and two. Count evens at two and two. You know, as a hitter, sometimes you you get that pitch you thought was a strike, and they didn't call it a strike. You feel like you got a lease on life. There was a little cross up right there. Cross up. One expecting curveball, the other one got heater. Don't know which one was right. Schusler thought it was going to be breaking ball. Third full count of the night for Tanner. Got him. Third strikeout of the night. Oh, all came out in the wash right there. That one pitch, in my opinion, crossed the zone. This one up top can't catch up. With Bell will step in from the left side. Singled his first time up. 
That went between his legs. Behind him. I don't know how it missed him. <laughs> Change up. He just held on to too long. Appel didn't try to miss it. It just missed him. Inside. Two and oh. Pitch in there for a strike. When you don't want guys to get extended, you got to try to establish the inside fastball. Yeah, he, he's done that a couple times, a little too much. In a couple, but you have to at least let hitters know that that you can come in there and will come in there. You're not just going to live on one side of the plate. 65 pitches now. The 3 1. Rip down the right field line, but hooked foul. Long look, the payoff. Back out of play. Three, two on the ground into right. Second hit of the night. How about the teams in Division One who have not lost? Fly to center his first time. Lefty lefty matchup here with one out and one on. First pitch way upstairs for ball one. See the numbers on the year for Bard. Throw over. Harrison, left handed hitters are three for six against him. Got to work ahead. Work ahead. You can use that slider. The 1 0. Off of the mitt. Count evens. The one one. Throw over. Conference play two weeks away for Texas A&M. Conference play this weekend. For Texas. As they will travel to Lubbock. Take on the Red Raiders. There's that slider. That one stayed in on Luke right there, but location was good. Down at the lefty bailing a little bit. That front side goes sometimes. <laughs> Throw back over again. Two for two in the stolen base department. Is Jackson? When he got away from it. That's the good. One. I mean, they're all good if they work and you get a strike or an out. But that's a good location right here. 
Where Kimball set up, that slider's right there. Left, he can't reach out far enough for it. Marilla will step in, grounded into a 6 4 3 double play his first time up. It's this ball on the ground to short. Short way to second. Lone Star Showdown moments when we come back. It is a 2 0 AM lead. He actually struck out Otani with a fastball. Chopped on the ground up to third baseline. Schusler. Five, six, seven due for Texas here against Cortez in the bottom of the fourth. Two runs, three hits, no miscues for AM. No runs, two hits, no errors for Texas. Kimball walked his first time up. Side count evens. Sinker coming in on the hands with some giddy up. He can get it in there. He hasn't had good fastball command in this game, but when he gets it over, it, it runs in. You can saw Kimball right there trying to fight that one off. 57th pitch of the night. Just gets a piece of that breaking ball, keeps it alive. Schusler steps back in. Lays off that breaking ball. Count evens. Did he go? They did not check. Ball was up. And it's a full count. Everybody. Even Kimball, I think, thought he was out right here. Breaking ball stays up. No call. Cortez liked it. The 3 2. Outside ball four. Three out of the four innings. He's led the inning off with a walk. Max Ballou will step in. Walked his first time up. He's been swinging the bat well. He swung the bat well in, in Houston. Hit, hit a couple out of the ballpark. Down at the Astros Collegiate Classic over the weekend. Downstairs for ball one. Bullpen is active again for Texas A&M. Two and zero oh now. This Ashton Beck was up earlier. It should be ready. This this is the type of walk to go out to talk to a pitcher that we may see a move. Yeah, I've had that before. 16 strikeouts to the other part of that only just two walks so he hasn't issued many base runners. He comes on here with one out to face Max Ballou. And a 2 nothing. A 2 0 count. And him lead and it is a 2 0 count. Pitch misses down for ball three. You can see his last 18 at bats. Sophomore from Alito has really started to come on, showing power. Oh, 
3 0 in there for a strike. So both starters out of the game here in the fourth inning. How about a 3 1 breaking ball? That'll buckle you. He just saw the graphic. Three home runs and 18 at bats. One every six at bats his last 18. I'm going to throw a breaking ball. Might see it again. Wow, you, your math skills are good. This on the ground. This could be two again. Bobbled in second base and they get it out. They don't. Bell just bobbled it in the transition. He caught the ball and then couldn't get it out of his hands. Thinking double play before securing the baseball right there. Just can't get a grip on it. Then when he does, throws it. And Camarillo tried to barehand it right there. Instead of trying to get the sure out, tried to barehand it. Dropped it. So first and second here. Possibly a bunt situation for Texas. Texas A&M anticipating the corners are up here as Borba will step in. He does square early. First pitch is in there for a strike. Burton was right on top of him from first base. Just the one right there where you wish you would give him one swing on that fastball. This is this is not about pitching. This is about defensive alignment here. Texas has had base runners in this game trying to take advantage of free passes. Borber squares again the 0-1. Burton right in on top of him again. He pulls the bat back, pitches inside. <laughs> That's quite a good feeling for the first baseman. Texas 0 for 3 with runners in scoring position in the game. 1 for 9 with runners on. Pulls the bat back. That ball's downstairs. 2 and 1. Good take right there. Burton not so fast at charging that at first base. Here comes the 2 1. Perfect ball up the third baseline. Gonna be tough to get it out. Throw to first, just in time. <laughs> Perfect bunt. Grohovac coming in the third, barehanded it, threw it in the dirt, and Burton over there was really nice scoop. So the bare hand right there, and then the scoop on the other end. So the sacrifice will put two in scoring position here with one out. Jack O'Dowd walked his first time up. Lefty lefty matchup here. Sky to center. Lavala with a good arm over tagging throw goes into third. Texas on the board. You gotta remember. He's left handed and that's the elbow that got hit with the ball didn't even risk throwing that ball at any part at all just threw it in to the cutoff man you can see him rubbing that arm right now. Nice job by O'Dowd getting it deep enough to get on the board. Gasparino will step in he into a 6 4 3 double play his first time up. Rushenbeck comes set. Downstairs for ball one. Gasparino steps back in. A 1 0 breaking ball in there for a strike. 
nice slider for Austin Beck. Got a change up. He'll cut the fastball as well. Chase the breaking ball there, and it's one and two. Great location underneath his hands, down around his feet. Side count evens. Veteran left hander looks in for a sign. The 2 2. Got it. First strikeout. Texas gets on the board. We go to the fifth. Aggies. to fake Luke Harrison out for his first full inning of work. Came on in relief in that top of the fourth inning. As Bell steps in, pitch misses way upstairs for ball one. Look over his head. He came in with runners on from the stretch and now with no one on from the windup. Fastball misses and it's two and zero. Oh. I went from starter to reliever. Once I became a reliever, it was 100% stretch. So that's most of the time you're coming in a yep. game in a situation where you're in the stretch. I think it's a great way to teach pitching. Now, when he challenged him, swung through it. Did Bell trying to get his first right there? Big swing from Jack Bell. Catches the outside corner. Count evens. They can break and ball here. That same pitch right there. That football cut something away from Bell right here. Came back with the fastball. Was that a slider? Got underneath it. Sort of backed up on him, didn't it? Yeah, sometimes you can just lead with that elbow, which causes you to stay underneath it a little bit. 2-2. Two, two. Got him with that one. Fastball from Luke again. But those uppercut swings, they're swinging right underneath the fastballs that are up in the zone. We'll visit with head coach David Pierce. In the bottom of the frame. Back to the top of the order. Back will step in. He has been hit by a pitch. Fly to center. Upstairs. Hitters count now 2 and 0. You gotta have some good location right here to Grohovac. Big man, freshman. You know what's behind him. <laughs> that puts in there for a strike. He, he, Zeke, as a pitcher, you, you knew where everybody was in the lineup. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I know that the two headed monsters coming. <laughs> yeah. Up. Got two great hitters behind. Swing and a miss. Count evens at two and two. Went out of the zone. Did Grohovac right there. Breaking ball away. The fifth swing and miss off Luke since he entered the game. This is a good looking freshman right here. He rips this ball. Hooked foul. That's why you want to stay away from the big man right there. If he's going to beat you, make him beat you to the big part of the park. Center to opposite field. Two two again quick pitch almost hit him inside. I mean he went to 
right to the point, and here he came quick. Lost his release point by doing that. Yeah, I mean, if you, you have to practice it in game speed. Just couldn't catch up. Seventh pitch coming. Got him with a breaking ball. Third strikeout for Harrison. Two gone in the inning. Throw a back. <laughs> Look at this. He just, oh, man. Coming at my back, my feet, and then they drop a 3 2 breaking ball on me right there. Good pitch from Luke. Back to back strikeouts here in the fifth. Lava that will step in. Hit by a pitch and scored. Fly to left. Lefty lefty matchup here. Down and away with the shift on. He squared and said, I'll take the knock. That's what he was looking at. He said, He's got six and 21. So if he wants a single, give him a single, but then you have to face Montgomery. Oh, good. This was in the first inning. A pitch from Tanner Witt gets Chase right on the left elbow, and you can see it before he got the first. Oof, very, like a up. golf ball. Mm -hmm. The 1 1. Misses on the outer half. Heading the count now 2 and 1. You're pitching. You got a hitter like Lavalette up there. You, you want that pitch. You don't want to fall behind. Breaking ball down in the count. The count evens at two and two. The two two laid off that breaking ball, and the count goes full. Two break a ball misses downstairs. A two out walk. That'll bring Braden Montgomery to the plate. Two run homer in the first, struck out in the third. And this will be conversation between. Luke Harrison and Kimball Schusler and head coach David Pierce. The rest of the infield stays back. I think it could be a situation to where you want maybe he's a switch hitter, so he's going to be batting right handed this time. Maybe as he steps in here, switch hitter from the right side this time. First pitch misses up and away for ball one. Texas has been good 61.9 first pitch strikes on the season 16th in D1 tonight just 42 percent. Swings through that fastball we'll count evens at one and one. Steps back in. This one on the ground, right side into right field. So fastball away, didn't try to do too much with it, just went with it the other way. That's going to put a couple of runners on. Odell shaded towards the middle. Just a nice ground ball through the infield right there. Jack almost behind second base. Shaded a little bit. Montgomery now six for 11 with two outs on the season. Hayden Schott will step in. He's 0 for 2. Lefty lefty matchup here. That ball almost gets away for ball one. Texas A&M 0 for 3 with runners in scoring position.
This ball ripped into right. Ballou has it, sets his feet, throw to the plate. AM tacks on another. Walk and two consecutive singles. And it is 3-1 AM. Went down and got that from Luke. Max Malou does a good job getting over to it in right center and holding the runners on first and second. David Pierce now going to go to the bullpen. He is on his way out. Burton is the scheduled hitter. Fifth up to the pitcher and struck out. So 0 for 2 as he steps in here. So grub set. Big swing and a miss on the slider for strike one. Always liked when you come in in relief with runners in scoring position, not laying a cookie in there. Come in, you, they want to they drive that run in. It's a good breaking ball there from Grubbs. The 0 1. Another good one. It's quickly 0 2. But I think the measure of a relief pitcher is those guys that can come in and strand runners. I think that's, for me, that's. If they can do that, now sometimes they go out and create the, create the mess themselves. Right. But if you can come in and save somebody else ERA and your team, quick 0-2 downstairs. My, my two biggest when I started relieving was first batter, efficiency. How often do you get him out and allow allowing runs not to score? Leave him out there. I didn't really know or appreciate as a starter. You get mad. No, he gave up my runs. Well, I'm not trying to. Breaking ball just misses. And it's two and two. No, they're not trying. <laughs> they're trying to save. So the guy, there are guys that are really good at that. Some guys are really good at that and can't start an inning and don't do as well <laughs> in an inning. The two two. Downstairs. Nice block. Schusler on a fastball that was just spiked. Runners will be off here. Advantage, Texas A&M. Got to kind of go with the high fastball here and try the slider again. Burton steps back in. Runners will be off. The payoff. Just got a piece of it. Hung in there a little better on that slider that time. Looked like he was expecting it and went for it right there. Grub set again. Runners will be off. Right side slashed. Look out. Those two good swings on those sliders. From Burton with a 3 2 count. He's diving now. He's, he's going out there expecting that slider. If you could bust him in right here, you can freeze him. Grubbs 3 2 again. It did get in there. Fastball in the right spot. Grubbs put it in the spot. Burton did a nice job fighting that off. Did fight that one off. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming. Crucial moment in this game. Texas AM with a two run lead trying to expand right now. Runners will be in motion again. Rub set. Inside corner strike three call. That ends the inning. Their head coach, David Pierce. Skipper tonight is a Texas Tuesday great crowd in a non-conference game. It's going to mean something a little different as we go on here in the next few years. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, this is a great crowd. It's a great environment. It's the weather's unbelievable. So two good teams going at it in the midweek. Can't get any better than that. Coach, a couple runs, but you, ha you have to be happy with what you saw out of Tanner tonight. Extended him out a little bit. Yeah, we got him a little over 60 and just getting him into a groove and getting ahead and counts and 
create down, down angle and then elevate him when he can. But uh, yeah, too many free passes from our guys so far, but I really like the way that he and then Grubbs coming in competed. Same with Luke. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck the rest of the ball game. Okay, appreciate it. Bottom of the fifth, top of the order here. Yes. Jared Thomas will step in, lead it off lefty lefty matchup here for Thomas, who is 0 for 1. He walked and grounded to short. A couple of pitchers that are out of the game, and Kimball Schuster talking about what just happened. Yeah. yeah I kind of like that. Going over it. You see the numbers from the sophomore? As he steps in. He's been good at the top of this Texas lineup. First pitch in there for a strike. Sidearm. Like that. Change arm slots. As a hitter? Oh, it's it, it just it, it, it just kind of like where, where's that come from? Yeah, it just buckles you. Now, if you see it on tape before and you see that the guy doesn't throw many strikes with it, then you, it's an instant. Well, I'll take that. Right. Well, but if you get it over, <laughs> he can get it over. It's real trouble. The O2 again. Long pause. Now ready to go. On the ground. Up with it for the first out of the inning. So one gone. Peyton Powell extended his hitting streak to 11 games. His last time up, one for two as he steps in. This is Oshenbeck's fifth game this season. He's gone four innings twice in his last two outings. So guy you can extend. Yeah, can do. Yeah, he can do a lot of different things for you. <laughs> Fits in a lot of different rows. That's slow, slow breaking ball in there for a strike. Filling it up right now. Powell steps back in. This is down the right field line. Into the corner. Big turn, but a nice play in right field for a guy who's got a great arm in Montgomery. It saved a double. Down into the corner. Reverse pivots, finds it, rifles it back in. Holds it to a single. Jalen Flores will step in. He singled the center his first time up. He's one for two. To center, playable. For the second out of the inning. Caught it a little bit out on the end of the bat there. So two gone as Porter Brown comes to the plate. Got a great opportunity. How about Porter Brown, who played for Jim Slosnagel, was recruited by him, and said, "Hey, you've got the uh, you've got the great citizen Boy Scout off the field, but when you go play on the field, you got to have a little bit of different demeanor." Got to meet. Well, you got to have a different demeanor. He's a bounty hunter. You got to go out and you got to go get it, <laughs> and. Last year, Porter had a great game against Texas A&M. And this ball hit well to right with some carry at the wall. Just short of getting out of here. We'll finish that story. We come back. We go mad at me. He said, no, coach. I had a guy tell me one time I got to be a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter. <laughs> I thought it was a great story. All right. After batting practice or something, Slosh hit a, a fungo and it kind of rolled right by 
Porter and said Porter didn't even turn around to see who hit it or anything. Passed him again and shaking hands. Porter just kind of looked at him and didn't say anything. <laughs> this when Slots is like, are you mad? Grubbs trying to go too quickly. Time call. So no pitch there. It's 0 and 1. Pell steps in. He's had a good ball game. Two for two. Two of the five AM hits. Three, five, and one. Bringing in this ball hit well into the gap. Thomas at the track comes up with it. It's a big ballpark tonight. What breeze is here? Is coming in directly over the scoreboard. The flag's not moving, but we can feel it up here coming at us just a little bit. Ball stayed in the park. That's another one. I thought that was out of here. Off the bat, you see that's again right there on the track is Jared Thompson. I think Bard will step in. 0 for 2 in this one. It went 390 feet. Wrong part of the park. Yep. What did you say? Make them hit it in the big part of the yard? Use the big part. They become cans of corn. corn. Never so, really figured out why that term was so, a, a, so a, Mark a, Payton would call them in the outfield. Corn. <laughs> Just been around the game for 150 years, but it's called a can of corn. I don't know a fly ball to an outfielder that's sitting there, but I bet we can find out. Have. Breaking ball just misses there. Grubbs thought it was a strike, and it's two and two. Laid off of that one. And the count goes full. <laughs> Downstairs, ball four. Grubbs felt like he had him struck out twice, ends up with a one out walk. Will step in. First pitch downstairs for ball one. Schusler. Something in his eye, or something's happening here. Did not see what the play is. Could have been come up and got him underneath the neck. Get that head down. Yep. Young catchers. That ball goes in the dirt. Tuck that chin. Comes up and get him under the neck. He looks like he's going to be all right. Ready to continue. You know. A can of corn doesn't even really fit in the glove. Yeah. That's a can of corn. But, but I think like old terminology, it's when the grocers would get the corn off the higher shelves and like scoop it off and they were able to catch it easily. So that's how it kind of came derived in baseball. An easy pop fly of the outfield is a can of corn. Okay. Well, I played a little outfield and never, no fly ball was easy. <laughs> <laughs> So appreciate that terminology. We finally figured out what a can of corn is. And we actually had a can of corns on. Yeah, that, it, that, it, that scares me a little it's, bit. It's whole kernel too. Yeah. <laughs> so one and oh here. Throw over again. Ball gets away. But not far enough to advance. Break for Texas. Break for Texas. It didn't go in the dugout. There's the openings where the players come out. There's one right in that area. Hits the screen. Stays in the field to play. 
the runner can advance. Well, actually hit the runner when he was coming back to the base. Longhorns at double play depth in the infield, looking for a ground ball here. This ball hit well to center, but it's a can of corn for JT. But since we know what a can of corn is now. <laughs> So two gone. Jack Bell will come to the plate. He has walked and struck out. Three, five, and one for the Aggies. One, three, and oh for the Longhorns. First pitch in there for a strike. Speed misses outside. That catches the corner, and it's one and two. To the mound. Over to first. That ends the inning in the sixth. We go to the bottom. And him up three to one. With us, Keith Moreland, Greg Swindell, from UFCU Dishfuck Field, a Pat UFCU Dishfuck Field, and out. By the way, not only inside, it's packed outside. There are people everywhere. Tents on the berm, all the trucks and right field full. Standing on the concourse. All the suites are full. Press box is full. It is. The 0 2. On the ground to third. Barehanded. Cross his body. Can't get an out. Schusler beats it out. That was a great effort to get an out. Rojo back again, having to come in with that one barehanded. He barehanded it, didn't get a solid grip on it, and just threw it high. Kimball hustling all the way, an infield single for Schuessler. Fourth hit of the night for Texas. That's a great effort to try to make that play, though. Yeah, There's only one way you're going to make it. That's barehanded and throw it. Barehanded and get rid of Baloo, 0 for 1, has reached on an error. First pitch in there for a strike and walked. So 0 for 1 as he steps in. Good swing fouls this one straight back. But it's quickly 0 2. So I'm dropped down with the lefties before. See if he tries it again. Off of the fist with a fastball. Just to finish our can of corn conversation. Red Barber is credited. To be the first one to use that term in a baseball broadcast. Oh, red. Back to the mound. Could be two. Throw to second for one. A relay to first. In time. One, six, three, double play. With two outs here in the sixth. PFP. Fastball got in. On Max, and when that does, you can't get your momentum really going to first. Good pick and feed right there. That's the most important one. Ashen back though, with that double play, he's still 17 strikes in a row. There's times when you can throw too many. Obviously, it's not 
it's working for Oshinbeck. Borber has reached on a fielder's choice and sacrifice, so 0 for 1 as he steps in. 17 consecutive pitches in a row in the strike zone. But you broke that streak. Jinx. jinx Announcer's that. jinx right there. The 1 0. Ripped. Look out. But foul. So the count evens. Long pause. Ready to go. The 1 1. This hit pretty well to left with some carry. Right up against the wall, comes up a few short. We come back, we'll look at the loans. Yeah, that's, that's an incredible day right there. Two walk off home runs, same person. Top of the order to face Grubbs here. Two thirds of the game in the books, 3 1 AM, three runs, five hits, one error for Texas AM. One run, four hits, no errors for Texas. The pitch inside corner for a strike. They <laughs> keep pounding him in. He's <laughs> there. Just shaking his head up there. This ball on the right side into right field. And a leadoff base runner. Got his hands inside that one. Yeah, he did. It wasn't quite as far in as the first one. Good job of keeping the hands in. You got a face with a runner on and nobody out. Ballette will step in. He has walked and scored. He's been hit by a pitch and scored. Flied to left. So 0 for 1 on the night. But he's been involved in the scoring. Swinging a mess for strike one. He did not get cheated there. No shift this time with the runner on first. Downstairs count evens. Earlier in the game we were talking about their pitch recognition seeing 4.1 pitches per at bat tonight. The Aggies are seeing 4.4 pitches per at bat. Downstairs just don't go out of the zone very often. If you have base runners and power you're going to score a ton of runs. The 2 1. Downstairs. Not dangerous pitch here. 3 1. Are you green light? Outside corner. Great pitch there. Do you send the runner? I do. But you got a guy that can swing and miss. Could. A little flinchy down there. Runner is going. Pitch is chopped at the plate. We'll do it again, 3 2. You send him again? Yes. Lavalette will see his 20th pitch of the night coming. Throw over. He had about a foot and a half lead. Yeah, we very far off that time. A little bigger lead this time. Not running. 
Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball. Good one from Grubbs. And good thing they took the go off. Could have had to strike him out, throw him out. Says breaking ball gets down underneath the bat. David Pierce wants the lefty in the pin. He'll turn Montgomery around again. Making bat from the and Jack O'Dell not as far up the middle this time with Montgomery up. Two for three on the night as he steps in. Two run homer in the first, strikeout, and a single to right. First pitch up and away for ball one. Outstanding numbers on the year. An OPS of 1,500 as he steps in. Stairs. Now you're two and zero. Oh. Dangerous pitch coming. Oh, speed misses downstairs, and it's three and zero. Oh. Green light here. No, taken all the way. I like how you did that about three quarters way to the plate when you saw he wasn't going to act. Three and one now. Good swing, fouled it straight back. Switch hitter, step back in from the right side. The payoff. Inside on an off speed pitch, ball four. So a couple on now. A couple on the last time up. Shot will step in, he singled. Driving a run his last time up. One for three on the night. As the season progressive progresses with Grohovac. Lavalette. The ball. Don't know how Schusler was able to catch it. Way inside for ball one. And Montgomery at the top of this order. Hayden shot could be a key ingredient because they're probably going to pitch around him a lot. Like just happened right there with Montgomery possibly. He's going to see a lot of base runners, so if he can get hits, he's going to have people on. It can help this Texas A&M team. Steps back in with a 1-1 count now. Breaking ball just misses. And it's 2-1. Fouled away, and it's two and two. The two two into the gap in left center. Thomas on his run. Can he get there? It actually pulled the ground. Can't hold. To it. Could be a play at the plate. The relay to the plate. Not in time. Well, Porter was there. Ball was slicing back to him. Just couldn't secure the baseball. Hits in his glove and bounces to the turf. I think they're going to look at the play at home on the review. A 
Unless he didn't touch the plate. I think his left hand gets down on the plate before Schusler gets the tag. Just to see it again right here. He tags him up on his chest, and the left hand was going across the plate. Chance to look at it again right here. Well, the stands that really puts Texas in a hole. No doubt about the hand did get in there. And stand and be one out, runners on second and third. Imagine Texas would have to play the infield in. Well, always look at the play on the field was called safe. Here comes the call now. He was safe at the plate. 4 1. Aggie lead now. Sixth hit of the night. No, actually, it goes as the first miscue of the night, E7. So runners at second and third. As Burton steps in 0 for 3. Infield is drawn up for Texas. First pitch misses outside for ball one. The 1 0. Oh, speed in there for a strike. Took a little off of it. The 1 1. This ball hit to center. This is going to get at least one home. Tagging. In the score, the fifth run of the ball game is Montgomery. Right in there, Gage Bain has been throwing for Texas. <laughs> now with Charlie Hurley starting to. Tossed down there in the bullpen. Pell steps in. And stairs. For ball one. Two for three on the night. From the right side for the first time. For the switch hitter. Upstairs. And it's 2 and 0. Oh. That pitch catches the zone. And it's 2 and 1. Side and it's three and one. Hitters count now. This ball hit hard to left. It will not stay in the ballpark. And Texas AM has blown it open. Second of the season for Appel. Shaw trying to get in there, just didn't get in there far enough.
into the bullpen. That is not correct. It's 340 to the, to the bullpen. So it went further than 327. It went over both walls in the bullpen for a two run home run. Four spot. Hitter up will step in Blake as a freshman infielder will step in as the pinch hitter for Bard the DH first pitch misses for ball one a four spot here in the top of the seventh Texas A&M has separated themselves in this ball game downstairs and it's two and zero. Oh. Catches the outside corner to the pinch hitter. All right, think, things are going bad for Texas, right? You go to Houston, you lose three in a row. You come here tonight, you have a close game, you have a miscue in the outfield, and all of a sudden they, they blow it open here in the seventh inning. What you want to see from them, from this, from response? Well, just don't drag. Yeah, continue play the to game. Play. Just misses downstairs ball four. Appel as he st stepped in he got a ball in her half knew he got enough of it. Oh sure. And barreled it up. Over both walls. Out there. Hit the back wall I believe. Okay. <laughs> Still went through further than 327 feet. <laughs> 25th pitch for Shaw is in there for a strike. Walk the seventh free pass Texas pitching has given up tonight. Seven runs on seven hits for Texas A&M. Tried to check his swing, a breaking ball. Fouled it off, and it's one and 0-2. Excuse me. 0 for three on the night. Shaw set. Breaking ball again, chop foul. You give good teams, teams that are undefeated on the year, extra out in an inning, especially in the outfield, it's going to cost you. Yeah, it does. And it will. And it has. The 0 2. Got him up and away and ends the inning. But damage done as Texas AM comes up with a force. First pitch in there for a strike. It's one and one, excuse me. A speed just misses outside. Kennedy ahead. Now two and one. That different arm slot. Drop a little off speed on him from a different arm slot. Count evens at two and two.
And right back with it. Missed outside. And the count goes full. The payoff. Misses up and away for ball four. So a leadoff base runner for Texas. That's how it starts. Good base runners try to keep it going. Jaden DePlantier will be the pinch hitter as he steps in in the DH spot. First pitch in there for a strike. Sophomore from the Houston area. See the numbers on the year. Stairs. Count evens at one and one. What a job coming out of the bullpen. He went one and a third his second outing of the season. Other than that, he's gone more than two and four innings twice. It's on the inside corner, and it's one and two. It's mixed pitches. That's what used both sides of the plate. Different arm angles. Jane speeds there and gets the strikeout. Change of grip right there. Turned it over nicely. So back to the Texas top of the order. Jared Thomas will step in 0 for 2. He has walked and grounded out twice. Breaking ball misses for ball one. And fastball in there for a strike. Count evens. Just pulled foul. Thomas down now, one and two. The one, two. This into the gap in right center. Kennedy around second on his way to third. Longhorns have something working here. Runners at first and third with one out. Good two strike approach from JT right there. No stride. Plus the ball. A little deep, one handed it. D. Kennedy hustling all the way to third base. Peyton Powell will step in. Two for three on the night. Aggies a double play depth in the infield. First pitch fastball in there for a strike. Shane Sadeo has been warming up for the Aggies along with Brock Peary. Long pause. The 1-1. One, one. This ball hit hard to center. Tagging is Kennedy. Throw will go into second base. Sacrifice fly. 7-2 ball game. Texas tonight on sacrifice flies. Comes on here to face Jalen Flores. Jalen single to center his first time up. One for three on the night. 
I've never seen a right hander get that far over on the mound. Slider just misses for ball one. Sounds like his heel is touching the rubber when he gets on there. So with that slider, I mean he's throwing way across his body. Slider in there for a strike. I thought that band on his arm was the signal that he took it off, put it in his back pocket. It could have been. Now they might have to go to the signs. No. The one one. Long pause. Slider foul back. Might just be going sparky loud. Slider, might just, slider. Might, might might just be throwing all sliders. Just give me a three. <laughs> give me nothing. Don't have to have nothing. The one, two. There's the fastball. For the strikeout, that ends the inning. Texas does get on the board. Seven two ball game as we go to the eight. Well, Nine one two as he enters the game. Caden Kent will be the hitter. He came in defensively a couple innings ago. His first at bat of the ball game. Pitch in there for a strike. All right, Zeke, walk walk me through this a little bit. You've been started. You've been preparing to start. You struggle a little bit. You need to get your work in. It's your day to be thrown aside. So it's better to jump into a game. I, I really think that this is a good time to for Charlie to get his work. Yeah, I mean, you you want to get a, a better taste in your mouth than than your last outing and come in try to get a clean inning here from Charlie. It pops this ball up. Porter Brown under puts it away for the first out of the inning here in the eighth. Hitting is is contagious and it's confidence. Pitching's got to be some of the same. If you go out and you build confidence, I'm going to get somebody out. That's got to be the same way as hitting. Well, there's times you go out there and. You your your thought process is I'm not, nobody could hit me. Things are going good. You're confident. You're making pitches. You're throwing it where you want. And then there's times where you're confident throwing it where you want, and you can't get it out. And that's when you start struggling. That's your your thought process. I don't know if I can get anyone out right here. And that's when you're trying again, trying to make that perfect pitch, and you just leave it on the plate. That was a perfect pitch. That was a good pitch right there. Did not get called to strike and it's two and zero. Oh. hitters count now. Same thing you've been talking about with hitters. When you're struggling. Every time you look it up it's o oh two. Now good hitters count there. Nice job of hitting and now you're. Back to this. Two guys in a row. Not a very easy. Inning hitter wise. For Charlie Hurley. How about this one's on? Largest regular season crowd ever at the dish. 8,060 here tonight. 8,060 people. That's that's that came through the gate. Then the 2,000 plus that been outside the gate. Remember, we had the largest opening day crowd ever at the dish. Now we have the largest. Regular Tuesday game crowd. Well, that steps in. 
The first pitch in there for a strike. In there, quickly 0 2. Scored twice. 0 for 2 on the night. Hit by a pitch. And walked. And going to need some ice on the way back to College Station on that elbow. And stairs. 1 and 2. I love how hitters talk to themselves. Stay back, pounding on his hit. Don't get too far out in front. We got all things happening to us when we're hit. Downstairs. Pitchers always cover up when they talk to catchers. You know, don't want to give anything away. Hitters are sitting at home plate telling what they're thinking. If you're a catcher, you just listen. Hey, well, he's thinking, trying to stay back. Let's let's eat him up inside. The 2 2 throw over. OPS at 1470. 1470. That's pretty impressive. 951 slugging percentage. Off of the glove, back up the middle. Can he get an out? Cannot. He gets down the line quickly. You're on the mound. It, it, it's a reaction play when you're on the mound. A high chopper. If Charlie Hurley lets it go, it's going to be a, a Taylor made double play. But your first reaction is to try to field it when he did hit it off his glove. Jalen Flores did all he could do right here. Well, he's 6'8. That's the other part of that. So yeah, that's just Taylor made. Unfortunate. Tried to backhand flip it over there. Just not enough on it. Montgomery steps in. He's had a big night. Two run homer in the first. Singled, struck out, walked and scored. Left side. Fouled off. Steps back in. Switch hitter from the left side against the right hander. Downstairs counts evens. <laughs> Laid off. Ahead now, two and one. Jane speeds had him out front. Yeah, just enough floating away from Montgomery right there. The 2 2. Downstairs, and the count goes full. Offensively and defensive. Both sides of the plate as well. Shot steps in. He's been involved in a lot tonight as well. That pitch misses inside for ball one. He struck out in the first and grounded out in the second since then. Single to drive in a run and he hit the ball to left field. It was a big part of the big part of this game. The Huge part of this game. Porter Brown could not secure that opened the floodgates for a four spot in that four run seven. This ball hammered to right. It gets down. This is going to score a couple. Believe bobbles it. Two runs will score. Nine two. 
Texas A&M. It's a sinking liner away from Ballou, and he gets caught in between right here. Gets caught in between, hits him on the knee, caroms almost to the corner. Two runs will come around easily. We'll have a pinch runner out there for shot. That's second. Chestnut, Travis Chestnut will come in to run at second base. Two runs scored. Base hit allows the runners, I mean, the error allows the runners to move up 90 more feet. Infield drawn up for Texas here with one out. Burton takes the first pitch for a strike. He's 0 for 3 with a sacrifice fly. Good breaking ball there. It's quickly 0 2. Burton steps back in. Upstairs, one and two. Slider misses outside. Burton steps back in. Hurley from the stretch comes set. Got him with a breaking ball. First strikeout for Hurley. Two gone in the inning. Got him with a breaking ball and got away with that breaking ball. This thing's standing right over the center of the plate. Appel homered his last time up right handed three for four night for Jackson as he steps in from the left side this time. It's in there for a strike. Ten hits now. Texas A&M nine runs on the board. Quickly 0 2. And he's gotten ahead of a few hitters. And he's picked after that 0 2, and they, he'll, he'll just pick too far off the plate. I think you got to be aggressive. Out to left. Porter Brown coming on quickly, puts it away, and that ends the inning. But the, Texas a and puts a two spot on the board. They lead 9 2 as we go to the bottom of the eighth. He'll be facing Porter Brown. 0 for 3 as Porter Brown steps in. Ninety two with that first heater. So two and zero oh to Brown. Inside corner. Chestnut will remain in the game. He's in center field. Avalette will stay in the game. He'll move from center field to left field. Pitch in there for a strike.
That pitch in there for a strike. Swing and strike getting Porter Brown with a 94 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> some giddy up on that. That is some giddy up from the left side. Schusler will step in 0 for 1. He is singled. It's 1 for 2, excuse me. He is singled, walked and scored, and struck out. Upstairs. Count evens at 1 and 1. Off of the fist, but muscled into center field. I think the most dramatic one was the steal of home, home. two strikes and yeah. two outs. Max Ballou will step in. First pitch misses. Fastball in there for a strike. Count evens at one and one. Not a lot of movement from the left hander. Jumps out of his hands. That one at 92. The one two. Slider misses upstairs. The two two. Got him. It looked like a cutter running away from Ballou. Second strikeout. Yeah, what's right at the end? Just a little bit of movement right there. That's 94 mile an hour cutter. That's, that's firm. It's usually different. Your fastball's faster than your cutter. It's opposite for Sedato. Borba will step in. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice. He steps in. Which misses inside for ball one. Good fastball there inside corner. Count evens at one and one. Had him out in front, fouled off, and it's one and two. The cutter again. In on his hands. Able to fight it off and get just a piece of it. Keep the bat alive. Wow. I got somebody in the AM dugout, Coach Sloss. I think you got him right there. Ugh. Yeah. I didn't expect a right hander to hit one there, but immediately they were motioning for the trainer to come to the dugout. Scary times. Just don't see that very often. Somebody definitely took a direct blow here. University of Texas team doctor was coming over as well. Outfitters have no idea who it is or what happened, but they know it's something serious.
We hope everybody is OK. We'll try to get as much information as we can as we'll take a break. We'll be back in a moment. We're back to play. We're still not sure who the person that was injured, but they are taking him to the locker room, and we're going to be back to action. Scary, scary moment here at UFC Dish Falk Field. We're back to play with a one-two count. This ball ripped. Look out. Somebody else could have got in. That was right where he was walking through the tunnel. So one and two as Borba steps back in. Downstairs, and it's two and two. The two two. Outside corner, strike three called. The bottom third of the order. And Rebel will step in. Walked his first time on, came on as a pinch hitter. Pitch in there for a strike. It's quickly 0 2. Yeah, you got a hit. We had a lot of 0 2s. Continue to attack. Got him with a bigger breaking ball that time. For the strikeout. That's the curveball we saw from Dre when he was a freshman. Really tight, leak, bite on it. A lot of spin on that breaking. Alamiro will step in. First pitch in there for a strike. He's been good defensively. He's had a tough night at the plate. 0 for 4 as he steps in. Breaking ball misses outside. Count evens at 1 and 1. Tight breaking ball again. It is. Got good depth to it. 77. Really good speed for a curveball. Off your fastball at 90 miles an hour. So 13 miles an hour difference. The one two. Comes right back with it. Back to back strikeouts. Two gone here for Texas AM in the top of the ninth. Hayden Kent will step in. Sophomore from Lake Travis. 0 for 1 in this one. First pitch in there for a strike. Did he go? Yes, he did. And it's quickly 0 2. A pitch away from striking out the side here in the top of the ninth. Looks like a totally different Dre out there tonight. Stand back. Yeah. Breaking ball downstairs. One and two. Chopped on the ground. Borba has it. Steps on the bag. One, two, three. Goes Texas A&M in the ninth. Long the order for Texas here. In the bottom of the ninth. First pitch misses up and away for ball one. Sadeo misses upstairs with that first one. Way upstairs. It's 
high as well and it's two and oh. Three balls and no strikes. And a four pitch walk. Two at bats for Kennedy in the game. Walked both times. Came around to score last time in the seventh. Second at bat for little brother to Plantier. Jaden will step in. Struck out his first time up. Snap throw. That was close. <laughs> That's a quick snap throw. Not really expecting it down seven in the ninth. Bender underneath the hands. Good location with that one. And it's quickly 0 2. That ball gets away. Down to second base. Goes Kennedy in the wild pitch. Tadeo's 30th pitch since coming into the game coming. Just threw it by. Fourth strikeout for the left hander. All four outs he's recorded have been with the strikeout. Climb the ladder. You can see a little cut on that. Jared Thomas will step in. One for three. He's walked, grounded out twice, and single. Side corner, strike one. Breaking ball misses. And it's one and one. Side. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1. Challenge seemed threw it by. Count evens. A little late on that 92 mile an hour fastball. 2 2. Couldn't catch up to that one. Fifth strikeout recorded. Sadeo has come in and recorded five outs, all via the strikeout. Peyton Powell will step in. It's two for three tonight. Sacrifice fly. Drove in one of the two runs. Cutter misses outside for ball one. That catches the corner. Count evens at one and one. Slider foul back. 
Texas down to their final strike. The one two. Got him upstairs with the strikeout. All six outs recorded.